This video is sponsored by BMI Solutions, your one-stop shop for document scanners in the UK. Check out bmisolutions.co.uk. Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is the PC7HX case from Lian Lee. Now the reason I've got this in the Geekanoids studio is I did a PC build series before and I'm really looking into building another PC to put Windows 8 on and Lian Lee gave me the opportunity to have a look at the PC7HX. I just thought I'd share my opinion with you about this really stylish looking case. Now, straight off the bat, I wanna just tell you that this looks so, so stylish and well made, and it seems to shoot way above its price point in terms of quality. Everything feels very solidly built, and it comes in at under 100 pounds. That's pretty impressive if you ask me. Now, the front panel here, looks really nice. We've got three full-size bays here. We've got some LED activity lights. And then we've got this sort of mesh here. And behind this mesh are two 140 millimeter fans. They are removable. They have got dust filters on as well. So you're not gonna get any dust sort of pulled into the case. And that is a really good start when I'm looking at this case. Now I'm gonna have a look at this side. This side's completely clear. And then round on the back, we can see the back panel here. This is where your, uh, you, your interfaces are gonna go from your motherboard. We've got some removable slots here for PCI Express cards, and the power supply lives down the bottom of the unit here. And we've also got some sort of holes here for uh, things coming out of the case. We've also got a fan here. This is a 120 milli millimeter fan, and that is really the back panel covered. We've got these quick release screws, which I'll take off in a minute as well. So let's start on this side. We remove this panel first. Let's have a look behind here. This is where we've got the, uh, obviously the back of the uh, motherboard mounting plate and good access here. This is where all your cable management's gonna go on. So we've got some sort of access points here, extra cabling already inside here for the fans. And that's really it on this side. It all looks very clean. I like the fact that everything's this nice matte black finish inside the case as well. Let's just pop this side on. These always trick me, these sides. So let's pop that on, there we go. That's that one in place. Pretty easy to get on and off, and looks really nice actually. Now let's take this main side off, have a look what resides behind here. So this is where obviously all the installation's gonna go on. Plenty of space in here. We've got three and a half inch sort of cage down here for your hard drives. The full size bay's up the top here. You can obviously see some of the cabling coming through for the uh, IO ports up the top. Got a little box of tricks here as well. Let's just uh, take this out and have a look inside here. There we go. So we've got a box of, uh, these are probably gonna be the screws and bits and pieces we're gonna need for assembling the case. So we get quite a lot actually included. Uh, this is uh, just some extra screws to the top panel. I should also mention at this stage that you do get a installation guide as well, fully printed installation guide. And this opens out into a large sort of poster format and it really is well illustrated. So this is gonna guide you through getting everything inside the case. Now inside here, you can also see we've got plenty of space here for PCI Express cards. This is uh, obviously where the motherboard's gonna mount. You can't remove this back plate as far as I can see, so you're gonna be installing it sort of in situ, which isn't a bad thing. Um, I do prefer it when you can work outside of the case a bit more, but that's okay, that still works. Let's continue just looking in here, see what else we've got. We've got sort of a pack of little rubber grommets. We've got all the mounting screws in here. We've got extra screws in here for hard drives. Uh, more screws in here for mounting hard drives. We've got a USB sort of header as well for the motherboard. So everything we need to sort of get up and running with the case really. So nice little package of bits and pieces in there. Back to the case, let me just finish off on the case. I just wanna give you some dimensions as well. Now, when you're installing uh, PCI Express cards, and graphics cards especially, you wanna know what sort of space we've got. So this is a 30 centimeter ruler, and this hard drive cage probably is removable. They normally are, but you could remove this if you needed to. But with that in situ, uh, if we look here, we've got round about 28 centimeters from 
the back there to the hard drive cage and then if you were using one of these middle slots well, obviously no problem at all because your, your graphics card can accommodate a lot larger space but you can see there 30 centimeters comes just over the top of the hard drive cage and then if you go up to this top bay which is going to probably just hit this five and a quarter inch bay here then it's 30 centimeters from front to back so plenty of space there and then just to give you an idea on the actual sort of depth of the sort of inner car carcass is 18 centimeters give you a look at the front of the case just very quickly as well so the width on the external is 21 centimeters and then the overall height is 30 about 46 centimeters from top to bottom and then depth of the case just in case you want to know roughly how deep it is we've got 30 centimeters by uh, so it's 49 centimeters in depth so a nice sort of size case not too big not too small and i'm just impressed with the actual finish loving the all matte black finish inside and and the quality of construction feels really good so this is the lian lee pc 7 hx thank you very much for watching i will see you all in the next video